All you want to do is go ham and draw as hard as you can, but your wrist is stopping you. So I've had major wrist issues three separate times. One time from dance, one time from drawing too much, and one time from typing too much. <laughs> yeah, this last time was pretty bad. I like, I couldn't open doorknobs, I couldn't draw traditionally, I couldn't draw digitally. Um, it was, it was pretty bad. But now I'm pretty good. I'm still on the road to recovery in terms of I can't go 100% hardcore breakdance, but I can go 100% hardcore drawer. And so how did I do it? The three things that helped me the most were one, tooling, two, posture, exercise. All right, so a year ago I made a video about how the 13 inch Cintiq wasn't that great, but hey, look at me. Today I am now using a Cintiq. I do like the Cintiq for drawing, it's great, but whenever I draw on the, that glass surface of the Cintiq, it makes my wrist hurt. I need to use a glove when I draw. The glove makes it easier for the wrist to slide on the glass surface. Otherwise I get wrist issues. It's the dumbest thing ever. But these gloves are super freaking cheap. You can pick them up on Amazon for like a few bucks. Um, and I need to have a glove to draw. And I get, if I don't have the glove, I'm like freaked out because, oh my God, I can't draw anymore. Uh, on that same vein, another stupid thing is that there's this freaking pen. I spent $100 on this rotating pen, but it's too heavy. And so that busts my wrists up after a while. So now I'm using this super lightweight one and it's crazy how much this freaking pen helps. Early in the year when I first got the Cintiq, I was super excited to draw because I'd never owned a Cintiq before, but I couldn't use the stock default normal pen because it just hurt my wrist. And so getting this pen literally was the difference between me being able to draw and me not being able to draw. Anyway, I swear by this pen. It is the greatest thing ever. And also, on my Cintiq, I have like this Japanese Elecom fill. Whenever you draw on it, oh, where's my glove? Whenever you draw on it with this Elecom fill, it feels more like you're drawing on paper. And that's always been the thing with my wrist issues is that drawing on paper is so much easier for me than drawing on a glass antique surface. I think that's the issue when you have problems with your flexes rather than with your extensors. Essentially, if you want to Google wrist issues, it's kind of hard to find stuff on drawing and wrists. If you have a problem with your flexes, aka the front part of your arm, um, people know this as golfer's elbow. Oh, because like it hurts at your wrist, but then it like attaches to the front. Um, and if you have problems with the back of your wrist, this part up here, you can find that for um, tennis elbow. And then you can also look at rock climbing um, forearm videos because they have covered this base a lot. Glove, stylus, film, I bought a freaking Cintiq. What else? You can try this ergonomic mouse thing. Um, I got this because even when I was using a mouse, it hurt to like turn my wrist and do this. So then I bought this, so your wrist is always in neutral. So this is pronated, supinated, uh, neutral on the desk all day and you're using this mouse, it's like, ooh, we're in neutral. It's supposed to help my wrist more, but it really did it. The first day at placebo effect, I'm like, yeah, this is great. It's just like using a joystick all day. Well, let's be honest, it didn't, it didn't really help me that much. But hey, it might work for you. What else? Ah, oh, okay, I was using this keyboard. My, I was like, owner deviating too much. So your owner connects onto your pinky side and I was like, while typing, I press enter or like the backspace. And I was always using my pinky to type because that's what people with good keyboard typing skills do. Cause like touch typing, you use the finger closest to the, you tap the button closest to the finger, but that screwed me over. So now I, do, I purposely do not type using that pinky. I make a point to type using ring finger. This keyboard kind of hurt me through time. Mechanical keyboards, man, that stuff really screws up my wrist. Whoa. So right here, I have a thing called a Progresso pencil. Uh, I'll put an image up on the screen or something. And I love the Progresso color pencils. They're like kind of nice to use, but you have to press hard on them for anything to come out. One of my friends, was, uh, Jeffy was saying, I don't know how you draw with them, man. Those hurt my wrist. And I was like, yeah, well, maybe you have to like, we have like different wrist issues. And lo and behold, two months later, I couldn't draw with the Progresso pencils because they're too hard. So I had to switch up to a softer pencil. So I swapped to like 
a 6B or whatever. The hardness of the pencil definitely makes a big deal. And you can see a common reoccurrence between this lighter, lighter stylus or trying to get a lighter pencil is just trying to, trying to reduce the pressure used through the wrist. All right, so, so this video is kind of getting long. So I think I'm going to continue the other two parts another day. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope your wrist gets better or that your wrist never gets as bad as mine did. Um, just one quick thing on exercise before I get to that video is that don't start exercising straight away. If your wrist currently hurts to open doorknobs or to like scoop rice, rest, ice, rest. Especially if you, if you have tendonitis, tendinosis, like I did do. Um, yeah, good luck. And um, I hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you are in the world. Peace. Bye.